I am Wyatt Russell, and I play the character John Walker. You okay? I'm Erin Kederman, and I'm playing Carly Morgenthau. In the show, they show that Sam and Bucky are really upset. You know, they're, they're not happy with with what you've done. You know, with their with their friends. You know, name and and uh, shielded and all that. But does John understand why they're not happy, or or does he think that he's in the right and that he should be the new cap? Like like he's earned it. I think he understands, of course, why. And he says that in episode two. And I understand why you didn't think the shield would end up here. I'm not trying to be Steve. I'm not trying to replace Steve. I'm just trying to be the best Captain America I can be. So I think he has definitely has an awareness of why, but is trying also to get them to see that I'm really good at this. But they're looking at it going, you're really good at this, but have you earned the right to be good at it in the way that it should be done? And that's where the rubber hits the road, where it's like, well, who are you to tell me how it should be done? Just because he gave you the shield, you're the guy. And that's where his brain goes, is like, what do you mean? You're all of a sudden you're a master and commander because why? And so that's the dilemma. It's like, well, because Steve gave it to me. So there's, there's, everybody has their own version of what they think he should be. And, and this guy does too. You know, John Walker, you know, in the comic shows up as a, a villain in Captain America, but you're starting from square one as a John Walker we're being introduced to, we're meeting, and you know, the man who eventually becomes the new Captain America. So how would you describe his morality um, when we meet him in these first uh, couple episodes, like whether as a good guy or a bad guy or, or somewhere in between. I think he's trying to do trying to do good. And I think he's trying to do good the way he knows how. And if you look at modern day military, there's a, there's a lot of opinions that there didn't used to be in World War II necessarily. They weren't, weren't the same. We weren't fighting the same type of wars. This guy comes from a different place and he comes from a different mindset. And uh, he's fighting and being Captain America the best way that he knows how to be. And maybe that's not right for what it is, or maybe it, maybe it does turn out to be right, but that's sort of his dilemma where we meet him. But I, I think he's like everybody in the world, even people who sometimes we view as doing bad might be trying to do it for what they believe are pure reasons. I think she's probably straight down the middle. I can't think somebody is evil if I can understand them and then relate to them, you know? Um, so I don't think she's she's all bad. I think what she's fighting for is essentially good. He'll be coming a bit of a legend. I hear more and more people talk about the freedom fighters who are pushing back. They call you Robin Hood. Every day more people love you. You'll find refuge wherever you go. In the comics, there's a character named Flag Smasher, and he's just one person. I mean, he's an outright villain to Captain America, you know, just a baddie. But the Flag Smashers here are a whole group in, in the show. So how would you describe what the Flag Smashers want, at least early on in the season? I think the Flag Smashers are very similar to Kali, and they are a group of people that support her and her movement. And they've, they've built this together. And I think they all want the same thing. They want peace and equality, mm -hmm. and, and they had that during the blip. And I think now that everybody's come back and things are starting to mess up, they're trying to get things back to normal again because that's that's where they were happy. The GRC care more about the people who came back than the ones who never left. We got a glimpse of how things could be. But what do you think of the Flag Smashers and what does John Walker think of a character like Carly? Like, would you see her as an outright villain or would your character be sympathetic to her, do you think? I think my character sees people who are doing what they're, what they're doing as bad and there's not a lot of room for talking in John's world because there there wasn't. But nowadays the military, you're sent to go do the job and you get the job done. That's it. That's what you do. Don't ask questions why you do or die. That's who he is. He's a Marine. So that's what he's been sent to do. That's what he's going to do. It's not my job to f figure out whether you're a good person or not. It's just my job to make sure that you don't do what they're saying is bad. And, you know, that that's an interesting, it's a different take on Captain America because Captain America sort of always took into account uh, those scenarios. I think Carly would say that they're fighting for completely different things. I think that she probably doesn't listen to, to his side of things and mm -hmm. what she needs is him fighting for a, a certain group or type of people, a certain type of America and Carly's fighting for a different kind of America that will probably be less heard, in her opinion, less seen. 
Oh, we get a little tease of Zemo at the end there, Daniel Brühl's character, and there's no gray area with that kind of a character, right? It's just, you know, he's just a guy that, he's just a bad guy and that's it. Well, well I mean, part, part, uh, part of what I hope people will see is there is an evolution, you know, of what does that gray area mean? And what you're gonna see John go through is trying to answer those questions for himself. How would you compare Carly to a bona fide villain like Zemo early on? Like, do you, how do you think she would see herself compared to him? I think she thinks that she's completely different to him. I think that she doesn't even see herself as a villain. And Malcolm had said this too, that everybody in the show thinks that they're the hero. And I completely agree. I think Car Carly genuinely thinks that she's the hero and that everything that she's fighting for and the way that she's doing it is right. One world, one people.